Hello everybody, I'm Ying Ying and welcome to our worship trail video. In this video, me, Tian Yu and Venus will be introducing three authentic religious temples, which is we'll be showing a Sri Malanil Temple, Buddha Tooth Valley Temple and Majesty Janit. From this video, you will be getting to know the culture of these architectural buildings and I'm sure you will get to know Get to know the most about it. Enjoy the video and let's get started. Right now, I am standing in front of this gigantic building called Sri Madhya Temple. As you can see, the temple is very colorful and unique features. So we can talk about it and the design, uh, as they call it, a Gorokhum, is the is the most uh, modern towers that uh, look like a rectangle at the entrance of any temple that are common in South India, which is they are in uh, prominent features in Hindu. Which is this temple, right? There's a two-sided feature of uh, North and South Indian, but we are actually this is talking about South Indian temples, so um, they are very uh, completely different. Did you know the purpose of these Groham origins can be traced back to the early structures built under the Dama kings of Paha and Groham dynasties that is under 12th century. It, it is also dominant under inner stadium in Amal, a shrine that has more than one Groham. Uh, it is typically constructed into a multiple walls in tiers around the main shrine. Aside from talking about wars, now we are talking about even more wars. So, there are those external walls, right, in the temp that of the temple, right? They are segmented by pillars and carrying niches, house sculptures. These structures above the sanctuary, uh, is of the kunata type. That, uh, that consists of an arrangement of geometric reaching stories. That looks like a pyramidal shape, which is looks like a pyramid, <laughs> like kind of pyramid, I guess. So each story, right, is determined by a pyramid of many miniature uh, strands. So what I meant, right, is like those kind of small, like you like it look like a, it's like making a small structure. So everything that way is going higher up so that it looks like a triangle and it looks like that's why you call it a pyramid <laughs> that kind of thing that is always made by a square of at, at each side of the corners that is rectangle with the barrel box roofs uh, at the center this is actually inside will be like a center that the tower is dotted by a dominant shape of korpa and the crown of pot in finale wow that's a crazy thing to acknowledge of the whole entire temple now, I will have to pass it to Tian Yu to share with you about this majestic looking Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. Hello, it's my great pleasure to be here today to introduce to you the architecture features of the Tang Dynasty. As you guys can see, the building behind me is very Tang Dynasty. The architecture style of Tang Dynasty is characterized by magnificent spirit, neat and cheerful. The building developed to a major period and formed a complete architecture system. It's grand, magnificent, beautiful, solemn, and generous. Neat but not rigid, generous but not delicate, stretched but not made public, simple but full of vitality. It's a perfect embodiment of the spirit of the time at that time. Stilpa, also known as Fu Tu, called Chudan in Tibetan. Steel paths were originally used to workshop sarira, sutras or scared objects. The wing angle of traditional architecture is one of the features of the modeling beautiful of traditional Chinese architecture. It's mainly used at corners of buildings with four slopes and pointed roofs, and makes such buildings more perfect, thus enriching and setting up the perfections of traditional Chinese architecture. Uh, from the building inside, we can see that the building is actually a stupa. Well, time passed so fast, and here is our last question now. 
In fact, a great feature of Asian Chinese architecture, like Tang Dynasty, is wing angle. Yeah, like this. Since I have done explaining about this temple, now I can pass down to Venus. I'm sharing from Tianyu. I didn't know that Buddha to Felix Temple would have this kind of historical background. Well, let's finally move on to our last destination, which is Majid Jamir. As you can see, the temple, it is green in color, which looks like jade, has become an icon of South Beach. The seven levels of double arch shape, niche, gives the minarets their signature appearance. Furthermore, a symmetrical miniature palace facade adorned with small doors and windows connecting the two minarets above the gateway. Mid 19th century, Jamia Mosque has been a familiar landmark on South Bridge. It is one of the oldest mosques in Singapore. Jamia Mosque is inspired by the Hindu Islamic style, but also incorporates some newer classical elements. One of the significant features is the pair of octagonal minarets that are flanking the main entrance. Columns are part of European features in the mosque architecture. It helps to adapt to Singapore tropical climate. This can be seen from the verandas surrounding the prayer hall and numerous windows with semi-circular fan lights. The Tuscan columns ensure that the interior is well ventilated and cool. On the other hand, the Doric columns bear a western influence which has a double leaf timber doors that serve as the entrance to the prayer hall. Just large window with Chinese green glazed tiles at the base. The Chinese tiles were part of eclectic design elements as the unshaped niche known as the Mirab shows devotees the direction of Islamic holy city large window with Chinese green glazed tiles at the base. The Chinese tiles were part of eclectic design elements as the unshaped niche known as the Mirab shows devotees the direction of Islamic holy city. Oh, what is this video about this temple? So, this is all for today.